You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead This costume is crazy and a little bit too accurate to my real life Hi guys, it's Katie and for today's video we are doing some more Halloween DIYs So one of my friends always throws these really great themed parties And this year's theme was when I grow up I wanted to be blank. Little Katie wanted to be an artist. If you are an artist, I am not making fun of you. I am more making fun of myself because the more I tried to make the costume, the more I realized how accurate this is to my actual life. For instance, if you are an artist and somehow I will have paint in my hair, I will have paint on my cat. I don't even know how that happens. So I decided to take some washable paint because I didn't really want to put acrylic paint in my hair. So I have washable paint in my hair and also on my face and while I was doing this I of course touched the washable paint which then got the washable paint all over my hands and if you are an artist you know that you live with this this is what life is life is just paint all over you all over your hands there's also some paint on my neck because that happened and yeah so things that I used I have this black dress that I thrifted but I do actually really really love I think it was like a dollar I got this apron from the craft store and this shirt from the thrift store I did try and find something kind of oversized what is more artistic than an apron and a shirt and I have one more thing that is super awesome and I'm super excited to show you it for starters, no artist is complete without their painter palette. So I'm taking a normal sketchbook that I bought at the craft store and I'm going to DIY my own painter palette slash sketchbook slash thing of awesomeness. So I'm going to draw the shape out and then I'm going to tape it with some painter's tape and then we are going to cut it using a bandsaw. Optional, if you don't have this, you can use an X-Acto knife, but it will take forever and since I had access to a bandsaw, I thought this would be faster. Also, sidebar, I forgot that the metal goes all the way through and that definitely scared me super a lot. I wanted the base of my painter's palette to be white so that I could add pink to it and I grabbed any of the spray paint that I had lying around my house. I ended up using like three different cans because all of them were almost out and it was quite an adventure. So here's the current setup. We've got the two little notebooks and you can see I've got spray paint and water and more paint and then on this side we've got the shoes and I'm gonna put the apron there. The apron's just over there for right now. And then we're gonna get painting. So basically I'm going to take paint, put it on these little palettes and then kind of like splash it onto the stuff that'll be over here. For the fun slash incredibly messy and mildly frustrating part, I'm going to take a bunch of different colors of paint and kind of plop them down like you would on a normal artist palette. And then I'm just adding a lot of water and kind of splashing it around. I needed this project made the same day I started it, so I would not recommend using a ton of paint because it took forever to dry. And it was also mildly frustrating because I really wanted it to look completely accurate and really wanted to actually use it to paint something, which was just hilarious all on its own. But you just basically spray a lot of this stuff and you can't really get it wrong because it's an artist palette. So do whatever you want, basically. <laughs> It'll turn out great. seriously regret this but I got some washable kids paint and we are going to paint my face and my hair which is good because I tried to do a like 
more artistic or like more adventurous smoky eye. And it looks horrible. Like, I don't know what this is, but this is me trying. This is why I am not a makeup or beauty guru. Also, I don't know, I'm so confused how these people are good at stuff because like I am trying and like I look like a dead deer. Like my, it just doesn't look good. I've got my little kid paint and a real paintbrush that I stole from my dad for painting. And we are going to paint some of my hair, I guess. I'm gonna throw this out there. Washable paint doesn't smell very good. It smells kind of weird. So we're just gonna kind of, I feel like this is like counterproductive to what all parents say. They're like, don't get it in your hair. And I'm just gonna paint it on. that I can open and draw you guys a picture. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because I put paint in my hair and paint on my face and there's just paint all over me. So please give me a big thumbs up so that I know that this was worth it. If you guys are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. I make DIY and lifestyle videos and ridiculous videos and I paint on my face a lot. You just never know what's gonna happen when you're part of the DIY family. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I hope you guys are excited about Halloween and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! This is how you become a beauty guru. You just put paint on your face and call it art. I am art. I am a piece of art. Whoops. I am a piece of art. I can't even be serious.